In this video, we are going to see how to post Slack channel messages from new Microsoft Excel rules. So let's say you are using Excel as a spreadsheet and you want that every time a new row is added, basically some new information is added to that Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, this information should be shared with your team which is sitting on Slack, an instant social messaging app. And here, you can do this and this entire process can get automated by integrating these two applications which can be done through Pabli Connect. Here your trigger application would be Microsoft Excel and your action application would be Slack. Now how can you do this yourself? To understand this, let me take you to my screen. So let's begin with the process. First we have to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we click on enter it will take us to the landing page of this software. Here on the right hand side you can see two options sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user you can simply sign in. If you are the new user then you will have to sign up here. By clicking on this tab it will not take more than two minutes and here you will get 100 free tasks at the time of account creation. So now since I'm an existing user I'm going to click on sign in and it has taken me to the all apps page. Since I'm doing this integration using public connect software let's click on access now here and now it has taken us to the dashboard of this application. Here on the right hand side you can see a tab create workflow. I'm going to click on this and a dialog box appears which is asking me to name my workflow. Now here my objective is that every time a new row is created on my spreadsheet basically Excel. So every time a new information is added to that spreadsheet automatically the same message should be shared on my Slack channel. So I'm going to write MS Excel to slack integration and now let's click on create here so once done here you can see this window which has got two very important events one is trigger another one is action triggers and actions are those two concepts or principles on which this entire automation works trigger is when this happens which means anything that happen that makes your workflow start and action is the response to it so I'm going to choose my application as MS Excel and here we have to choose the trigger event. Trigger event is what will happen so that you know your workflow will start for this every time there is a new row in your worksheet this workflow will begin. So I'm going to click on this and then click on connect. So here I have already logged into my Microsoft Excel account and now since Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with Microsoft Excel account, I'm going to click on add new connection and then connect with Microsoft Excel. Here we'll have to first choose our account. Once done, we'll have to grant it the permission so that it can access. So I'm going to click on yes. And now you can see that the authorization has been successful. Here we'll have to select the workbook. So I'm going to take you to my workbook that I've already created. So this is the workbook. The, the name of the workbook is Slack messages. And here I've got three categories, name, email ID and message. So I want that every time this workflow runs, this message should be displayed on my Slack channel and it will take the latest message only. So going back to Pabli Connect here, I'm going to select slack messages and the worksheet so if i'll take you back here see here you have two worksheets and the name of this particular worksheet is demo going back to public connect let's select the demo worksheet and click on save and send test request so once done here you can see that we have received the response so this is the message that i have and then if i come down this is the name of the person and we have got the entire information basically the name and the email address and the message we have received this thing now i'm going to choose my next application as slack because i wish to send these messages on slack now the action event here here my action event would be send channel message let's click on this and click on connect here again public connect is asking to connect itself with the slack account i have already logged into my slack account i'm going to just click on add new connection and then connect with slack now here you have to choose the token type so when we are sending messages which may contain images or videos or urls we use user as a token so i'm going to click on save now and now here public connect is requesting permission to access the 
Pabbly Connect Slack workspace. This is a workspace that I have already created on my Slack channel. So once done, the authorization has been successful and now we have to select the channel. So going back, I'm going to take you to my Slack channel and here you can see Slack Excel message. This is the name of the channel that I've already created. So going back to Pabbly Connect here, I'm going to choose Slack Excel message. And now we have to map the data. Mapping basically means information that we have already received in our previous steps we are just going to retrieve it so what is the message that i wish to send so if i come down here this is the message hello team we have been given the permission to go ahead with this project congratulations i'm going to map this and then we have the image url image all text so boat name boat icon you can always fill in this information now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So once done, here you can see that uh, we have received the message. And to know that if this integration process was a success or no, we have to go to our Slack account. So going there, here you can see that right now we have received this message. Hello team, we have been given the permission to go ahead with this project. Congratulations. Now this basically means that we have done the correct integration. Slack and MS Excel, these two applications are now connected, but we need to check it in real time. So now I'm going to go back to my Slack messages Excel sheet and here I'm going to write another message. So let's say the name and the email address remains the same. We are happy to announce that we are going to Goa to celebrate our success now that's a nice message and once done what should happen that i should receive the same message on slack so let's go back to slack here and i'm going to refresh this page once so here you can see that we haven't received the message why so going back to public connect and if i take you up so here you can see that this trigger will check for new data in every eight hours which basically means that the trigger application has a polling time of eight hours so this workflow runs after every every eight hours to check for new data so now we are supposed to wait for the next eight hours to see if this integration is a success now see it is just a one-time setup once you have done this then you won't have to do this again and again so if in case your response doesn't come immediately, do not worry, have some patience. It will come in a few hours. So now let's wait. And now here you can see that, yes, we have received the message after eight hours. Hello team, we are happy to announce that we are going to go out to celebrate our success, which means that Slack and MS Excel, these two applications are totally integrated now. Now I'm going to take you back to my public connect page and check quickly what did we do. It is a very simple two step integration process. So first our trigger application was Microsoft Excel and the event was new row in worksheet. Then our action application was Slack and the event was sent channel message. I hope you have got no doubts. If in case you have any doubt, you can always refer to this workflow that we have just created. It is there in the description box. And also you can clone the same workflow and start processing immediately. Apart from this, if you have any suggestion or advice or there are some integrations that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pavli.com and if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.